In our top story for the hour, militant group Boko Haram Group have uh, released 82 school girls from a group of 276 whom they abducted in northeastern Nigeria three years ago. They were handed over in exchange for Boko Haram suspects after negotiations where the 82 school girls are now in the custody of the Nigerian army and were brought by road convoy from a remote area to a military base in Banki near the border with Cameroon. The girls are expected to be received by President Buhari in Abuja today. The abduction of the Chibok girls triggered a global outcry and sparked a huge social media campaign. More than 100 girls are still in Boko Haram's captivity. When uh, it broke yesterday that uh, 80 Chibok girls have been released and on their way to Meduguri, uh, before they will be flown to Abuja to meet with the president. So Nigerians received that, uh, uh, that information, you know, as something that we, it, it's like a 2017 gift to all Nigerians. And uh, parents are happy about what has happened. This is coming at a time when, uh, you know, uh, health issues, the economy that is in recession has been a problem for people in Nigeria. As if that is not enough, you know, the Boko Haram issue has not been trashed. Even though the military continues to tell the people that uh, we have dealt with them at the Zambisa forest. So we still see these people, even at the point when Chakao is still, you know, threatening and saying that, uh, uh, claiming that he was not injured in any, you know, attack or all that.